Now I'm gonna show you a basic, a basic self defense move uh, anybody can do. Um, it's not really advanced. Um, it's for the hand. Uh, you can do. It's actually the back fist. Um, the back fist. It you can get, utilize it in self defense, but not really. It's meant for like competition fighting now or kickboxing and stuff like that. That's what it's really meant for. Um, but I, like, you can do um, get in your fighting stance. What you do when you do a back fist, you hit with these two. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna get up closer. You hit with the back hand of these two knuckles right here, and you know traditional styles, they'll load up. They'll have one hand up, one hand down. I like kind of you're hugging yourself. I know this. They'll just throw it out there like like a 45 degree upwards angle of a strike toward the temple. Um, basically they'll do like this, they'll have the other hand on the hip, but that's more like the karate and kempo way, um, then the back fist, that's the normal back fist, um, here's a, uh, you can do back fist and then turn around and do a spinning back fist. Or you can do a downward back fist like you do in Kung Fu. Um, you, you, usually in Kung Fu, you don't know, you really utilize that a whole lot because um, it's not really, a, to me, that, that's not really a strike. It can be, but I don't really like to call it a strike. I more likely call it like, okay, I'm going to use it as a fake and maybe you're all in for a punch. Um, usually the back fist is utilized, you know, just get an opening in, you know, on your opponent's head or your lower, the lower part, part of the body. Um, that's what it usually is for karate, kickboxing, and stuff like that. Or you can use your feet too, you know, you can use your legs. You know, I'm just gonna do something basic. Let's say if you wanted to use a side kick, you go in, bam, back fist, and then you go in for the headshot with the back fist, and then you can turn around and do a spinning back fist. But that's the newest combination right there that I'm working on now, too. So it'd be side kick. Bam, bam, back fist, spinning back fist. Lead forward side kick, three, four, Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now, when you do one side, you must do the other. One.
Six. Seven. This is a single back fist. One, two, three, four, five. And in a jab, it may look like a jab, but it's a back fist. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Now we're going to do the side kick with the back fist, reverse punch combo. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Other side, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to do the spinning back fist. Some people like to add a, add a step into it, that's okay. MMA people do it when they add that step into it. When they lift their foot off the ground because they, 
and basically follow through and then they can go in with a punch at the end. But most traditional karakas, they like to keep their feet on the, on the ground. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. center line when I practice on that single one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten There you have it folks, some basic drilling from karate, kickboxing, whatever you want to call it, Muay Thai, dirty fighting, for the streets, um, traditional martial arts, for the streets, seven ton of four, signing off, hit the like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, you'll get one of my videos, I'll see you in the next video, peace.